Hello students. Today I continue the explanation of Act Three, Scene One, Page Eighty Two onwards, Line Number Twenty Five. Sorry, Twenty Four onwards, where Shylock makes the entry. Here it is said, "How now, Shylock? What news among the merchants?" This is the question being asked by Selanio. When Shylock makes the entry, he is asking the question that what is the news among the merchants? You have been told in the beginning that all the merchants they have their business transactions done at the Rialto. Okay, so he is inquiring that what is the news? Then it is said here, Shylock says, "You." no more so well none so well as you of my daughter's flight now over here the he is shylock is very much worried about his daughter shylock is very much worried about his daughter so he is enquiring here you knew none so well none so well as you of my daughter's flight so daughter has escaped daughter has escaped so he is asking hmm uh, he is inquiring about his daughter's flight then selanio selarino says that certain i for my part knew the tailor that made the wing she flew with al now here it is being told in this line that's certain that's certain means certainty of what is being asked is referred here and then he is saying here i for my part for my part means as far as selarino is concerned ha huh? knew the tailor that made the wings the uh, she flew with al so meaning over here is that when a when a child grows up or gets becomes young hmm take for example the bird what is the uh, what do you know about the bird when the bird is an infant bird the bird is protected and nursed by the mother bird okay but when the bird gets the wings suddenly what happens it flies alone in the sky and then after that it starts living an independent life similar is the case here with the girls till the girl is small hmm, she is being protected by the father or the mother but once she grows young then she also like the bird independent independently flies out so jessica has grown up jessica has grown up and she is huh she has eloped or she has flown away out of the house of shylock okay further it is being said here selanio says and shylock for his own part knew the bird was fledged and then it is the complexion of them all to leave the dam now selanio is saying here huh as far as his own part is concerned that is whose part shylock's part is concerned hmm knew the bird was fledged the bird was fledged means the bird was the bird that is jessica shylock knew that his daughter has grown up ha huh? because you have to keep in mind that the daughter is being compared here to the bird with the wings so it is being told here knew the bird was fledged and then it is the complexion complexion means over here nature so he means to say here that now it is the nature of the uh, of uh, the bird or uh, the girl who is being referred here to to leave the dam dam means mother okay i have told you till the child is small from infancy stage the child is being nurtured and cared by the mother but after 
growing up then the child starts living an independent life and for in order to explain this the example of the bird is being uh, highlighted here in this scene shylock she is damned for it now she is damned means she will be she will be punished cursed for it salan salarino that's certain if the devil may be her judge so if uh, the devil may be her judge if the devil is given the task of judging her then she will definitely be punished or cursed so here what uh, salarino is re uh, whom salarino is referring to as the uh, judge that is shylock he refer uh, he refers to shylock <coughs> as the devil shylock my own flesh and blood to rebel so he is saying here his own flesh and blood that means in terms of in terms of blood and flesh jessica was the daughter of shylock and she has rebelled against her father okay so you have to keep in mind that if the comparison is to be made if the comparison is to be made between jessica and um, shylock huh what is common between the 